what's up i'm hannah welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope that every one of you is doing super super great today today's video is going to be a video about healthy summer snacks it's getting hotter by the day here in germany and yeah i thought why don't you get some summer snacks actually this was not quite my idea i asked you guys on instagram a while back what you would like to see for june content and one of the ideas was that type of video so yeah Without any further ado, let's just hop right in. So the first recipe are frozen yogurt bites, and for that we line a container with parchment paper, and then we pour in any yogurt we want. I use blueberry yogurt, and honestly, frozen blueberry yogurt is really, really good, but as already mentioned, any yogurt works just fine. A little fruit of choice on top. Um, I added fresh strawberries from the garden, but any fruit works here, whether it's fresh or frozen. And then we're just gonna pop it into the freezer for a few hours. So the second recipe is mango passion fruit popsicles. I have another popsicle recipe a little bit later in the video, um, but this is the first one, obviously. And we're gonna start off by adding mango. It can be fresh or frozen, it doesn't really matter. And then we also gonna scoop in some passion fruit. And then what I did, I added straight up lemon juice, which is not a great idea. Add sugar or a sweeter juice because it's obviously way too sour with just the lemon juice, but I just didn't think of it when I made it and was a slightly shocking experience. The next recipe is carrot bruschetta and it's actually a hit. Every time I make it, everyone just loves it. It's great for people who are allergic to tomatoes or who just don't like them raw but can do carrots. This is really great and to start off with this recipe we need shredded carrots then we add some salt maple syrup or any other sweetener and lemon juice and season to taste and then we cut up our bread i usually bake the entire baguette in the oven and then cut it into slices but you could also toast the slices separately or maybe even pan fry them i'm not too sure but i just usually cut up the entire baguette at once we brush on some olive oil add our carrots on top drizzle over some balsamic vinegar and sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. The second popsicle recipe are blackberry coconut popsicles. I'm going to start off by adding coconut milk. One thing I can recommend though, add coconut yogurt, not coconut milk, because coconut milk, number one, is not sweet enough. Number two, it gets very hard and hard to eat once it's frozen. So coconut yogurt is definitely the better option. Then add in your blackberries, very important, cut them up. It's just easier than sprinkle on some chia seeds. And then I add a blueberry yogurt, which was actually very random. I had nothing else to fill up the uh, container with other than blueberry yogurt. So I thought, why not add it? And to be honest, it turned out pretty, pretty good. But you can add whatever you want to fill up the container. So the next recipe is an acai bowl without acai, which is great for everyone who finds acai powder a little too expensive. I'm going to start off by adding frozen banana and then blueberries, also frozen. I ended up adding uh, frozen mixed berries as well, just didn't film it to get closer to the color of an actual acai bowl. I then also added a splash of milk to help with the blending, but start off with less milk and add more over time so it doesn't turn into an actual smoothie. This recipe is a quinoa beetroot salad. We need cooked quinoa and add in pickled beetroot, then the beetroot juice, balsamic vinegar, and spinach, but you can also swap it out for avocado if you want. Now on to cookie dough bites. We need butter, flour, brown sugar, vanilla extract. I added vanilla sugar. And then I also added chocolate chips, and then we roll them into little balls and snack them straight away. For the smoothie bowl, we blend up frozen banana, frozen mixed berries, and a splash of oat milk. And that's with the video, guys. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And yeah, let me know what your favorite snack was, if there was any snack you want to try. And if you did, how you like that. And hope you guys will continue doing great. Stick around until I post next. And until then, see ya.
and have a good one.